is this SLG Louis Vuitton collection still worth the money I paid for all of these products back in 2020 and 2021. So let's compare prices. Hello, my name is Andrea. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're not new. And go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you like handbags, lifestyles, reviews, unboxings. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and let me just welcome you to the Babe Cave today. <laughs> so let's talk about the card holder from Louis Vuitton. Everything's Louis Vuitton today. And this one I bought, let me just give you a little overview of it. It, I used it a lot when I first got it, and I have not used it that much since. So I've got some wear, but not a lot of wear on this since 2020. And it has the fuchsia color is the one I chose. So I bought this in 2020 for $224. And... I believe that's with tax. <laughs> and now this little card holder goes for $265. So not a huge, huge price increase on this little card wallet, card holder. The glazing still looks great. And I did use this quite a bit when I got it. I was excited to have my first SLG from Louis Vuitton that I bought from their website. So do I think it's still worth it at the new price? I would say only if you use cards and you only wanted to fit like about four to maybe five cards total. I still think it's worth it on this piece right here. However, would I buy another card holder? I think I'm out of the card holder phase of my life. <laughs> Although I will bring this out occasionally to use. So that's the first item that I bought in 2020. The card holder. Next SLG I bought off of DCT Vintage Japan. And it is the Louis Vuitton round coin case. So it was in used condition, but really there is absolutely nothing wrong with this coin case. And in 2020, I bought it for $286. I felt that I needed the round coin case. <laughs> and uh, really the prices on these coin cases are about the same. Sometimes you can get them a little cheaper. Uh, just depending on the condition of it. But yeah, these... I think that this coin holder is actually really worth the money because of the slim profile of the coin holder. So yeah, I would buy this again. And definitely for around 250 to 300 is probably what you're looking at. I think it's worth it. So I would say yes to this purchase still. Now we are on to my six ring key holder with the fuchsia button. And I purchased this six key in 2020 from the Louis Vuitton website for a total of $276 brand new in that time. And now they are $325. And I've used this quite a bit. Uh, it has held up nicely. The glazing looks good. I used it a lot when I first got it. There are the papers. It's still in really good shape because a lot of times I don't think that I use key holders anymore. Uh, since switching to smaller bags, do you really need a key holder? <laughs> I used to think, it was to protect the interior of my bags from my keys, but 
really my keys just stay at the bottom of my bag and don't really move that much. So do I actually need a $325 key holder? I would say, suggest you save your money and if you want a key holder, I wouldn't spend the money on the Louis Vuitton key holder unless you just are obsessed with it and need it. But would I buy this again? I don't think so. <laughs> Am I getting rid of it? No. So that is the price comparison on this six key ring holder. Instead of the key holder, I would suggest the key pouch from Louis Vuitton. I bought this one in 2021 for $281 and now they're $325. So they're the same price as these now. And if I were to pick one, I would suggest you pick the key pouch because uh, at least with the key pouch, uh, it does have the zipper. It's a thin profile. It has this handy dandy little hook for your keys if you wanted to still do that. And plus you can put cards and coin inside. So I have used this more lately than the actual six key ring holder. And so I do think that these are worth it. However, my zipper is not very smooth. Uh, and I bought it from the Louis Vuitton web website. And yeah, it, it's not the smoothest of zippers, definitely. It's still a nice piece to have. I, I would probably repurchase it because it's not gone up a whole lot for what it was when I purchased it. So this I would probably repurchase if my zipper was actually a little bit better. I think that I would like it more. <laughs> but yeah, this I think I would repurchase. Next up is the famous, infamous Toiletry 26. And I did buy this in 2020. And my intention was to, to use this as a bag. And I, I do occasionally use it as a bag. Not very often. It's still very nice Vaquetta color. Because I hardly ever use it. <laughs> but at that time, in 2020, I paid $541 for... It's just the normal toiletry pouch with that beige cream interior. And I paid $541. I think it's worth the $541 that I paid. But now they have redesigned these toiletry pouches with colors inside I'm not sure those prices I'll put them up here but now I looked on fashion file for just the regular toiletry 26 in excellent condition for this exact same one and they're wanting nine hundred and ten dollars to a thousand dollars for this older style pouch now, I would not spend eight, $800 or to $1,000 for this toiletry pouch. Um, am I glad I got it at $541? Yes. <laughs> and it will stay in my collection, and I occasionally use it. But I would not spend $1,000 on the toiletry pouch of any kind. <laughs> but I, I do love it still, so that's my thoughts on the toiletry pouch. I know that Louis Vuitton was upset that a lot of people bought the inserts to make it into a bag, and I think they tried to do the same thing and make it into a bag, but now I think they have the just the different interior colors of the exact same as this one. So that's my thoughts on the toiletry pouch 26. Next, we have my Louis Vuitton mini pochette in the, this is the Venice Christmas animation from 2019. I bought this off Fashion File. It was in excellent condition. 
and it actually still is. This canvas is very durable, and I've used this a lot. And there has been no chips on the screen print at all. And I paid $615 for this pochette in 2020. I couldn't find this on Fashion File. I think I found one or two on The Real Real, and they want 700 to 900 and that's in very good to excellent condition. These Christmas animation are beautiful. Like, I love this, but I almost think 600 is a little high to pay for one of these, but that's just the going rate. And some of those are really scratched up and the print is bad. So you're probably going to pay 800 or so for this to 900 And do I think that's worth it? No. Uh, I, this is not leaving my collection. I've used it a lot. It's still in very good condition. So, yeah, the price increase for this, I just don't think is worth it. It's a catch-all for your purse. And, yeah, I just, uh, I love this piece. And I, the price at 615 I can tolerate more than $1,000 for these. So, I'm going to say pass on that. <laughs> it's just not, it's not worth it. Up next is the Damiea Bean mini pochette. And this was the hardest thing to add to cart on Louis Vuitton website back in 2020. Because everybody was suggesting to buy it. And I think everybody was adding to cart and they were out of stock constantly on this. I just got lucky one day in the afternoon and added it to cart, and I paid $380 in 2020 for the mini pochette in Damier Abine. And I think that was worth it. This right here, like, that's a great price. And yeah, I bought this brand new from the Louis Vuitton website. There's my little barcode when they had date codes still inside red interior today's price of $745 for this exact same piece knowing what I paid in 2020 I would not pay $745 new for this mini pochette no I would I would pay higher for the Christmas animation than the just the regular print cuz you can find a lot of these on the secondhand market. I don't know if they'll be in this good of condition, but I don't I wouldn't pay $745 for sure. I don't even know if I would pay 500, but that's probably what 5 600 is probably the best. I don't know. Uh, I'll try to link some items that I find down below for y'all if you're interested. But for $380, I think I got this at the perfect time. And I was so lucky to even get it at that. So I would buy it back then again. But now I would not buy it for $745. Alright, this purchase was in 2021. The Pochette Accessoire. And I paid $580 for it. It's uh, an older monogram canvas piece. I believe it's... This piece is from 2002. So it is vintage. And it's a little bit rough. In But the canvas itself is beautiful. No cracks. I bought it off of Fashion File in 2021 for $580. And the hardware still looks pretty good. I mean, there's some gold that came off of the ring. The, the zipper's not bad. It came with the 
The old style had the little strap, so I don't use this strap. I put my own strap on it. And do I think it's worth $580, $600? Definitely. Uh, because it it's a very nice grab-and-go bag, and it fits more than you'd probably think it would for your essentials. And what I could find on this older style, these are now going for, from at least from my research, these vintage ones or little bit maybe newer or eight hundred to a thousand dollars and and they redesigned the pochette accessoire as well so it's totally different than this so I'm not even gonna compare those two but to find one like this in this condition I think it's gonna be around eight eight hundred we'll say and uh I'll try to link some below do I think that's worth it I think this is worth more than the the mini pochettes for sure because it you can it really can be a bag i mean it's an accessory but i don't consider it an accessory so do i think that's worth it i think this one's probably worth it and especially if you had probably the longer strap that they came out with it's i would say the pochette accessoire is still worth it uh, at my price back in 2021 to now. I don't really think the new Pochette Essessois, they redid it. It's $1,500. I don't think it's worth that. Um, but I'd probably pay 1000 for a very good, excellent condition Pochette Essessois. So, that wraps up my then and now prices. What do you all think? Would you agree with me on some of these SLGs? And did you get some of these pieces before they went up to the prices they are today? I Like I said, I think some are still worth it. Some I wouldn't buy again. <laughs> some are not that high of a price considering today's prices. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I'm happy with my small SLG collection and I'm so happy I bought these in 2020 and 2021 because I really am not sure I would pay the new prices. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have give me a thumbs up and uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It's free. I um, have a goal of 2,000 subscribers and if you have anyone that likes handbags and accessories share my channel. I would love that. Uh, the more the merrier. So I appreciate all of you watching and let me know down below if you have any of these SLGs and what do you have and what did you pay? <laughs> let me know down below and until the next video, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.